Right, we'll find the edge of the uh, of the piece there. Usual method with our edge finder. When we're running off centre at the moment, we'll move in. And the edge finder starts to centralise. And we're running through about now. And we'll keep going past the centre point. We're running through about there. And there we just moved off again. So we'll zero at that. We'll just repeat that. Running off centre, moving in, and off. Yeah, that's it. So that's our edge. Now we'll drop the table down, and we'll move across three millimetres. Six mil tip. So that's our centre point and our digital readout is currently at uh, three mil. So we'll re zero and that's our edge, starting edge, and we'll take all the measurements from that point. Let's see that's okay. Right, I've got a, a 4.2mm stub drill in there, so I don't need to bother with a, a centre drill every time. Um, I've got two tapped holes in each section to go, and then a through hole in the centre for um, the T-bolts to come through. I'm going to make the T-bolts quarter, um, or 6mm, probably quarter, so it's all Imperial spanners. Uh, the bolts be cap heads holding the key steel down. Um, I'll do them in M5 simply because I've got a load of them. So uh, they'll be tapped M5 into this. So we'll start by moving over. First hole is at 10mm. Hold at 10mm from each end and a centre hole. And now while well, we've got the, uh, the hole position We've changed over to a spiral flute machine tap. That's not a drill bit in there. That's a machine tap. It's hand tight in the collet only. Just to allow it to slip if it needs to. And we'll slow it down. And power in. And the reaction on this isn't anywhere near quick enough. And there's a hole tapped. I never quite trust these little little machine taps, even though it's uh, it's a good make. Okay, on to the next hole. Right, the next hole along is in the centre of one of our pieces. Remember, this is uh, both bits still stuck together, and it's at thirty-two and a half mil. Look if I go the right way. And I'm straight in with a a split point drill bit here, so we should just carefully peck at it to get us a start. And that's it. And this is a a six point five as a clearance for 
our quarter drill, our quarter T bolt. That's just through. Now we'll move on to the next hole, which is another tapped hole. And I'll keep going along like that until uh, till we're to the end. Remember saying I didn't trust little thin machine taps? Ah, oh, bollocks. Okay, we'll get that out in a bit. Right, I'll do another stage here. Um, this is the setup for uh, welding these pieces onto the round tube there now. Um, bit of a contrived assembly, but in essence I'm keeping this block of bright bar square to the back of the back jaw with the two tabs if you like the legs clamped level and straight in the vise and then the tube clamped to the back bar through a couple of shims here and some packing to get it centralized on there i'll just move the camera around the uh, around the assembly so you can see sort of what's going on and all i'm going to do is get a couple of weld tacks under these corners here, try and get some under there and some under there. And one at this end as well. I get it tapped up into place before I uh, finally weld it. And then when when it's tapped and during welding I'll also clamp it as well. Because it's um, I don't want it to distort at all. And then we'll weld it to the... Uh, the base part later on. So let me get the welding gear set up and we'll have a go. Okay, all I've got on there is a, a couple of tacks, now it's, uh, they're in place, I can take it out of all its clamping and um, get round it better. Now I'll tap that side, I'll tap the opposite side, do a bit there, a bit there, then come back again and try and keep the welding even across each side. Just about made it with that um, that gas bottle. We'll probably get the other bit actually. Um, I haven't gone mad with the welding on this. I haven't veed it out deep and really got it penetrated because it, it won't need it, and it's uh, I don't want to distort the the parts as um, as much as possible. So uh, we'll let that cool, and um, we'll have a look at the next stage. The piece of um, that I'm using for the key steel, I've milled down to um, 
do a slightly slightly thinner size so that the T slot in the uh, tool and cutter grinder will have ends there so we've got a little bit of clamping space. Um, and we'll have set this up now back in the uh, the vise, clamp it by that part of the key steel and then transfer through on them, uh, them bolt holes and uh, we'll get some clearance holes in them and I think I'm going to put uh, countersunk allen screws in from this side. For... I've got it set back up in the vise. Um, the piece of bar just got flush with that end, piece of key key steel. Um, I've got it clamped each end with a couple of tool makers clamps, and the little bit of excess there on the uh, on the key steel is just sticking out the back. I'm just going to drill through them six and a half mil holes that are for the key uh, for the. T slot bolts and T bolts, and um, then I can put some temporary bolts in them to hold them, hold the steel key steel in place while I drill through the other. Holes. Okay, well that's. Uh, Still clamped by the toolmaker's clamps. So I'll take it out of the vice. I'll put a couple of temporary bolts in there and take the toolmaker's clamps off. Back in a moment. Right, I'm just going to spot through this top piece. I've got it bolted through with some nuts underneath. I've located that first hole there. And I'm just going to spot through and um, get a good hole established. I'll take this off and drill them through properly. I'll bring you back when uh, we've got this done and that took off. And same again, I'll just go along and drill through. Now I'm going back through them with a clearance drill for the M5 bolts. Now I'll try and uh, carefully countersink the uh, the opposite side. Okay, get that out and. Uh, bolt it to the other piece. And I'll put a little bit of Loctite on the the bolts there. And screw them in. And then I'll just clean off the uh, the back edge there. So I'll put the remaining ones in and I'll uh, come back to you in a moment. And uh, last one. There we are. That's the one with the heli coil in there. And we've got our clearance holes through for our T bolts. And this end I'll just cut off in a moment. Right, we can get it welded very soon to our other piece we prepared earlier.
on there. Well, if there's a block with the end cut off and just linished up a little bit, I haven't gone mad with milling it. That's perfectly flat enough for what we're trying to do there. And there it is in the tea slot. Ready for uh, getting the other bit onto it now, then. So uh, we'll do that. I've set the uh, the two pieces up in the vice there, um, carefully squared up along there to make sure we're in line at both ends. We're flush there, and we're held by magnets. I'm going to get a tack on each end there, and then. Uh, couple of tacks each side before I start to weld it fully. I've changed the uh, gun over this time to the bigger gun, a slightly bigger um, tungsten because I was struggling a little bit with my nine size torch there on the uh, on them parts so uh, I'll just get everything set up and we'll do a bit of welding. Welding that end there, and it's just slightly lifted the whole thing, so I just need to bring that down again. I'm back in a little moment. Okay, I've uh, clamped that, I've just rechecked it square, and it's just closed that gap up just along there a little bit till I go tack on this end. Right, that'll do. Um, I'll get that uh, I'll get that off uh, when it's cold and we'll get it uh, get the bandsaw and uh, cut it off. Give us our uh, two brackets. I've set this up just before I cut it to uh, put a couple of threads in there for the uh, the lock screws. I'm doing it quarter BSF with a couple of cap screws. So I've set a sort of, we're in the centre line and I've set a distance of 30 millimetres from each end. So we'll get that put in. tapping this time I'm just going to start it by hand so I'll just check we're somewhere near with that yeah There we have it so far. Our two bolts for the um, 
locking the centers in. I'll probably shorten them a little bit actually. Uh, right, I'm going to cut it off. Right, I've set that up in the bandsaw as best I can for uh, trying to get it straight and things. I've got some scribe lines on there for cutting through. I've got another piece of material in there to balance the jaw closing. So we're not just trying to grip on that edge. You always do that if you've got short pieces in the uh, in the jaws. So let's see uh, see how we go. I'll go down very slowly because uh, I'm coming onto the edge there with a, quite a coarse tooth blade. Let's put some power on. go now we've got two brackets quick dress up on the belt sander okay there's our two brackets if we take our bar we should be able to pass the the bar through the two. Now I'll uh, I'll make the centres next. I'll cut a uh, couple of couple of pieces of that off and um, turn a point on it. Right, I've cut uh, a couple of pieces of that twenty mil silver steel off. I'm just going to put a sixty degree point on there now. Right, got it to as good a point as I can get it. I'm just trying to ream her on there. <coughs> and that locates fine on the centre of that reamer. If I need it any better, I'll have to um, grind it. Um, but I've set that to work or something for that. So uh, I'll get on with the next one and uh, see where we are. Right, well, uh, harden and temper the um, centres. Heat to a cherry red. So I'm quenching some briny water, salty water. Test for hardness, that's hard. So I'll clean that off now. Now they're polished up, I'll um, reheat them to uh, a light straw. They're quite hard, foil doesn't touch them. So I'll 
heat from the bottom and watch the colour band rise. And when the right straw oh, gets to the tip, that's when I'll quench them again. Well, there's the two centres. I'll give them another polish up now. And there are our centres so far. I'll um, get some paint on uh, on them, and then um, I'll look at making the T bolts. There's the centres in position. And there's the brackets painted up and uh, in position. I've, uh, I've got the T-bolts in there. I'll take them out in a second and show you. But, uh, I've just put some ordinary bolts in as lock bolts on the centres there. They just nip down with a spanner and it's the same spanner for, for locking them in position. And for the apologies for the here for the hand camera work. This is just last minute after I've done everything. I was just editing the video. I want to come back in and get the final shot of these. There's our underside bits. With our T slots in, T keyway in. That's the word I'm looking for and that's simple enough it's just a little piece of bar with um with a thread in it and they're just locked tighted in just quarter bsf again they slide nicely in the t-slots there's a little bit of clearance on them and get that in one-handed there there we go just a washer And there we have it so that's another one done um, the next episode on the back of this one you're watching now will be how I repaired the broken off um, tap in there so that'll be an interesting one to see um, and then what I better start looking at is actually how to use this so uh, That'll be the follow-ups. When? I'm not sure, but uh, keep your eye out for them. So, as ever, from me and, uh, and from the workshop, as usual, thanks for watching and uh, thanks for subscribing and uh, look forward to future episodes. So, bye for now. <laughs>